hello and welcome to my channel intuitive envisions 1111 um, this is going to be a general reading for the collective of twin flames and soulmates uh, since this is general um, it's not going to resonate with everyone um, if you're interested in a, a personal reading that information is below and the link to my site intuitiveenvisions.com uh, is there as well <laughs> I'm a little tired so I might sound like I'm slurring or something I haven't had anything to drink I'm just letting you know <laughs> okay so thank you guys so much for liking commenting and sharing um, I don't know if I said subscribing and subscribing to the channel I really appreciate it um, when I refer to divine masculine or divine feminine I'm referring to energies and not a specific gender even when you hear me say he, she, they, that person, um, that can be you or the person um, you're thinking about or someone close in the equation. And divine masculine um, can be a uh, female. So, you know, just take it how it uh, resonates for your situation. Um, if you start to find that you have more questions than answers, then it's probably not your reading. Um, it's a lot of energies out there, so it's um, pretty much impossible to pick up everybody's energy um, each time, okay? No need to uh, say it's not your reading <laughs> um, in the comments. Um, that's not really helpful for you or anybody. Um, so if it's just not your reading, it's just not your reading. It's no big deal, okay? So um, with that being said, um, this is going to be... Um, the topic is what is divine masculine uh, hiding uh, from the divine feminine uh, currently. So we're going to see what's going on um, with his uh, situation. See what is being revealed through these uh, cards. So, um, whoops, almost lost those. Okay, so that's what the topic is about. <laughs> and also, I, I think I didn't mention... Um, below in the um, description also my instagram account information is there and if you want to uh, donate to the channel uh, support the channel that information is there as well okay so these cards that i'm shuffling right now are the um, steampunk tarot uh, and i have the um, wisdom of the house of night these two are actually my latest cards so i'm going to get a general energy surrounding the the question for this I might have to refer to my uh, little book um, because these are new I'm still learning okay so since I already shuffled these I'm just gonna go ahead and pull off the top and we have movement okay so obviously we know that this movement means you know in motion uh, forward motion um, things of that nature so we have 29 um, which is 11 so I'm going to go ahead and see specifically what is this uh, message about um, movement. Okay, this is a time of change and movement and a symbol for wonderful surprises. Okay, so the Vi Masculine could be hiding that he's planning some type of surprise, um, some type of uh, big change. Um, it says if you have been waiting for something, you will soon have clarity. You will get answers you thought would never come, and you will move closer to things that were out of reach before. Perhaps this card predicts a trip that you've always wanted to take. The symbol for movement can indicate both a change of scene and a real shift in the direction in your life. No matter what this symbol uh, holds for your question, um, now that wonderful change is now, I mean, know that wonderful change is now possible. This is the time to make your move. Okay, so he's in an energy of a major change in some type of movement. Uh, could be with his life, could be with travel, um, but there's a, a major uh, shift uh, taking place that he's hiding. Okay, so what else is he hiding? These are the Kipper cards. A gift. Okay, um, this I also see as an offer. This is like one of the most positive cards in the, um, this, the Kipper deck, the Great Fortune and the Gift. Um, you have 17, which is eight, uh, could involve, um, a twin flame, uh, or soulmate. Um, this eight is infinity symbol. So this card is about an offer is also about, 
um, I, I see it as, um, you know, giving something or getting something that you really, really want. Okay. So he could be receiving something, receiving a gift or making a change into offering something, offering a gift. Okay. That he hiding. So he could be hiding, um, planning something. Okay. Planning some type of a, a trip. I'm just going to move this over a little bit. Okay. Oops. Sorry about that. If that was loud. All right, I'm not turning the bottom cards over for now. I'm just gonna see how this reading goes. Okay, so this is the uh, Angel uh, Answers uh, Oracle. So I'm gonna see uh, what else is uh, he hiding. I'm gonna get three cards from each of these ones I have here. Trust, okay, so he's hiding something around trust, whether he is trusting or he's not trusting. So we'll see. It's up to you. So he's hiding. Um, that is up to you. Um, she's pointing here in this card. So I'm kind of just like picking up that this could be um, the divine feminine. Like everything is up to her. Like these, this plan, this movement, this change uh, possibly could be up to her. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> this is just like I'm needing to move it. Let's move that over here. I like to see part of the words. <laughs> okay. You're ready. Okay, so he's hiding that he's ready um, to trust. Maybe a movement, a change. Um, and that it's going to be up to you. Like it's all up to you. Like he may be, um, presenting himself as not, um, you know, like he's in control and, and he's, you know, but really in reality, I feel like this is saying that it's all up to you wondering if you're ready. And then he might need to, you know, trust in the situation that, you know, that you are and that you're going to accept this, this offer. Okay. Because I do feel like it's, it's some type of offer that is up to you. Okay. All right. So these are the Mystic Moon um, Oracles. Let's see. What else is he hiding? Nostalgia. So this is about returning. This could also mean something about the past. Um, there's a firm grip on this. And you have the heart here. So um, I feel like he's hiding that. He's trusting that. Um, either something with the having to do with the past or that when he returns that you're ready that's kind of like what i'm getting right now okay there i go rearranging the cards again sorry it's that virgo trait in me <laughs> okay what else is he hiding and you have fall Okay, so this we're in the fall right now. So this is present uh, energy. And um, this could be like he's hiding that he is presently um, in this energy of um, possibly coming towards you, making some kind of movement, some kind of a change. At least he's uh, thinking about it in the present. Whoops, I'm not taking this like three cards. Anyways, it's stuck or something. It has like four. We're just going to start over. <laughs> Sorry about that. Deception. Okay, so this is about hiding. <laughs> um, I feel like this is about, you know, coming from behind this tree because this is about what he's hiding in and it's by this you're ready. So I'm feeling like he's ready to like, you know, come from behind this, this tree, you know, whatever is being hidden. He's ready to, um, you know, have it come out to light to, um, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but surface, you know, he's ready for this to come in the present. Okay. 
So these are the um, <clears throat> excuse, excuse me, tarot of the night cards, and I'm not gonna say it right. So just you know, take that, <laughs> take that as as you can. Is tarot de la uh, nue. Um, like I said, I'm not saying it right, but that's these cards. So we're gonna see what else is he hiding. King of Swords. So King of Swords is leader of communication, all mental. Um, so I feel like he's hiding that he's in his head. <clears throat> he's thinking, you know, really, uh, you know, a lot about this, about communicating something, maybe communicating that um, that he wants to return or communicating something about the past. OK, maybe wanting to get past um, getting past the past. <laughs> trust issues okay communicating uh clearly because that's what the king of swords is about this could involve an air sign gemini libra or aquarius doesn't necessarily mean so it just could be the energy um that he's in and um like i said keep in mind these energies could be flipped this could be divine feminine's energy so just you know take it out resonates and what what else is he hiding And you have the hangman so this is about you know this is about pause this can be about um, seeing things from a new perspective and since it's with this fall I feel like it's about him seeing things in a new perspective because in this particular car you see there's a rose there okay you can see that there's a rose there and I'm seeing this like as you know like an offering you know, seeing things from a different um, perspective, it is close in the vicinity of this gift with fall and this present with this being um, saying it's up to you. So I'm, I'm feeling like he is currently thinking about this, like, will you accept this? Will you accept this, this rose? That's just an additional message I'm picking up. What else is he hiding? Angel de la um, Nue, or you know, whatever <laughs> um, of the night. This is when you are at the end of you know your troubles, your dark times. Things are like ready to turn around, and you do have the energy here of movement with this uh, horse here in the card. Um, end of the deception so because this is by this card okay so this is like you're ready he's hiding that he's ready to end this deception like put an end to it because that's when the angel of, of the night comes is to you know the end of your troubles in the deception okay and these are the um sting punk tarot i think i said this already but um just want to make sure and what else is he hiding? Two of Wands. This is about, you know, being at a crossroads. This is about making a decision, you know, looking out. This person is looking out, you know, over the horizon. And since this is close to the um, King of Swords, I think this is about communication, like a decision, a decision. So he's hiding that he has decided to um, communicate a decision. And this could involve like returning, um, maybe returning or restoring trust or just returning um, to communicate his decision. And what else is he hiding? Knight of Pentacles. And this is about, um, you know, traveling slow but bringing something of value, okay? So he's hiding maybe that he realizes that he has made slow movement, um, but possibly that, you know, he's hoping that you are, you know, um, gonna be open to that he's offering something of value, okay? Like he's come a long way. 
that's what I'm picking here. Like he's coming a long way with this hangman here and this knight of pentacles because this is a, a slow traveling um, energy um, that you're going to accept this, um, what um, he wants to bring forth. This is the energy I feel that he is in in the present. And then uh, what else is he hiding? And you have the four of pinnacles. Um, so this is about holding back um, or holding on, you know, to something, not letting go. So in this picture, you you have, or in this card, you have someone like holding on to a coin, okay? But they're about ready to drop it, okay? They're about ready to release it, which looks like a bank to me, some type of little jukebox. But they're about ready to like put that coin in there so they're ready to it's just not a tight grip on this one in this particular uh deck so i'm feeling like someone is ready or the bimasculine is hiding that he's ready to like you know release that yeah at that last coin there okay so i'm going to see what's on the bottom here and see if i got any additional messages here Yeah, so definitely communication um, I'm seeing here, okay, because we already have there. We have um, High Priestess of Water, um, number four. I'm not exactly um, familiar with this card uh, yet. So I'm going to just take a quick look in this card to see what the basic meaning is. It says, um, Dear one, when my vampire high priestess of water visits you, it is to remind you that all things change. So that's two references to change. Um, in the movement card, it was a reference to change, and now this high priestess is about change. So some major change, some major shift is definitely taking place that he's hiding. Um, it is rem uh, remind you that all things change, like the powerful element she represents. So emotions... I feel like there's some emotional change in him. So maybe this divine masculine that you've dealt with have not been very emotional or expressive when it comes to emotions, and that's going to change. That's what I'm sensing. Okay, water is a transforming element that flows in rivers, makes waves in the vast ocean, turns to hard, cold ice, and disperses as hot steam. Water can change into snowflakes, white fluffy clouds, and rain. When you draw... The symbol of water it signifies a time when things in your life are changing shape right before your very eyes. Go with the flow, as these changes are powerful signs of wondrous experiences, lessons, and gifts. Another reference, there's gifts. There's that gift card right there. So something is changing um, emotionally. It says, even if you don't understand these changes at the moment, you will later. So, um something is changing emotionally um, from the divine masculine that he's going to communicate you have another 11 here with a sudden wealth um, this is also about sudden realization this is also about like payout you have a 777 here which is spiritual um, but there's a something big a, a, a payout um, which could be emotionally um, I really don't feel that it has to do with money it could because there is um, earth energy here but there's sword energy there's um i mean air energy there's fire energy here and uh water energy so it could be any of the signs really so i feel like this more is about a sudden realization because that's what this card is about um so this divine masking could be suddenly realizing that he needs to communicate a decision you know to return and communicate this very clearly so I feel like there's some kind of communication that's going to take place. And you have more green. So this is on the physical uh, plane. Um, under this card, I'm just going to show you real quick. It says forgiveness. So he might be communicating apology or uh, communicating that, you know, that he wants forgiveness. And there's an under understanding here. So this communication could be about understanding or realization um, him coming to a realization and understanding that he needs to communicate uh, clearly. You have the king of the queen of swords here at the bottom too. So this could be, um, you know, they're they're not married in the tarot. They're not really a couple. 
but this is uh, counterparts um, the king of swords and the queen of swords so this definitely is about communication I feel okay I feel it's this about because she's more about clear communication um, she can also you know cut things out but I think this is about speaking clearly because she's kind of like descending on the scene here okay with her sword you know come into um, wanting some information basically wanting to you know that communication is basically what I'm getting definitely communication is um, being hidden from the divine masculine that he's wanting to communicate or plans to complete to communicate and it's going to be a big change um, offer probably what I'm seeing is offering some information like it's a gift a gift maybe of um, that you will end up understanding what he's about to communicate um, or hoping that you're going to under hoping that you will understand once he communicates and this is going to be about a relationship or a family situation you have the ten of pinnacles um, this could be a divine masculine that um, either may be involved with someone that's a, a tarot reader or he got his information from a tarot reader because there's a card here so there's definitely something about information okay so information um, and the card isn't being shown so it's something I feel that he's going to communicate either information about a relationship or a family situation or that he wants to be in a relationship with you the divine feminine okay um, under this card I just caught my attention as the hierophant so this definitely is about a commitment or a marriage is what I'm getting up getting out of uh, this what this communication is going to be about okay all right you guys so i hope that resonated with you if it did uh please like comment or share and if you're new to the channel please subscribe um, and hit the notification bell so you get um the the reminder or the notification <laughs> of my latest video again i do offer personal readings so if you're interested that information is below and I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. I appreciate you very much. Have a good day or night, whatever it is, whatever, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.